coaching you know, a game week a couple days out. I yeah. guess where do you think you and your your uh, you know squad are? I think we're like right on time. You know the guys have done a good job of preparing. <laughs> Obviously, you get tired of going against one another, so there, there's that excitement, the piece to, to face someone else. And uh, I think we've been taking our steps slowly, step by step, step by step, and I think we'll peak right at the right time. You know, you've been here, I believe, more consecutive years than anybody else on the coaching staff. Yeah. Um, not calling you old or anything, but, uh, <laughs> you know, you've seen the atmosphere here at the Howitch mm -hmm. before. Obviously, last year was different. Um, you know, what are you expecting, you know, come Thursday night in the season? In the Honestly, I, I think it's going to be one, like, one of the best crowds we've had in a long time. And I, th I, th I think that's going to be the case, like, across college football, just because everybody's so football hungry, so ready for that opportunity to, like, be in that atmosphere and just to have it back again. So I think it's going to be, like, one of those crowds that we remember that we'll be able to post up on the wall at some point in time and get a graphic of it. But I, I'm really, really excited, and I think it'll hold throughout the year. I think we got an exciting product. Fans are going to enjoy watching, and I think it'll be a great time. UT Martin Lodge, they brought some transfers in this year. Yeah. Some guys came back from offensively from them last year. So what do you see out of their offense? I think they're a talented bunch, you know, across the board. You know, in addition to what they brought in, I mean, they got talent across the board. They're deep. They're they're confident. Uh, they do a lot of things on offense that, that pose defense as problems. So uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge. You know, is there any guys since the last time we talked to you that have really, like, you know, stepped up that – might see some playing time come Thursday that not a lot of people are talking about? Uh, one guy in particular is uh, Ship. I know he's been here, but you know he's kind of stepped into that role, and he, he's, a, he's a guy for us now. So I'm really, really excited to see what he does. You know, he's kind of that, that fourth guy in the front. Darvin's been here forever, Jawan and Malone. So then that, that other guy that's in there, I think people will start to know his name by the end of the year. Uh, I'm really excited about our, our two uh, young safeties. Well, not young safeties, the backup safeties, and uh, Caleb Oliver and Kendrick Simpkins. I think they've done a phenomenal job of turning the corner. They, they've really, really like excelled uh, these, these last few days, few weeks, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them produce as well. If you had to pick out you know, one key to the game for you guys as a defense, what would it be? I think it, it's two things. Obviously, first game, I'm, I'm always worried about tackling because you know, you, you're in practice. You think you got them. Uh, we've had some live practice situations, but there's, there's nothing like the game. Uh, but the, the other piece is we just can't beat ourselves. Uh, another thing that happens in a lot of first games is you know, penalties. Um, or guys are really aggressive and really hyped up, you know, they, they'll end up getting personal fouls or pushing after the play or, or those kind of situations. You know, just I think if we don't beat ourselves and we tackle well, you know, we, we put ourselves in position to, to be in the game.